So what crap and welcome to Phuket and Nyang Beach. As you can see, we've got people, volunteers basically, cleaning up a perfectly good beach. Why? Well, in the past week, there's been these little, well, they're called tar balls, which are basically congealed oil washing up onto the beaches. And boy, have they made a mess. Now, these volunteers, mostly from Sustainable My Cow, are cleaning up these northern beaches. There are other groups trying to fix the problem on other beaches along the island. And let's face it, it couldn't have happened at a worse time as Phuket prepares itself to reopen to travellers. Michelle, when did you become aware of the, uh, the, the oil slick? Last Sunday, so that's like a week ago, I went walking with my dogs along the beach and when I saw the state of their feet, I realized, oh my goodness, oil all over the beach. Why has it taken like a, a whole week for us all to become aware of this? I think because at first it was just in my cow and it was tiny little drops and people thought that was it. It was something small offshore. Yeah. But over the week, as you've seen, it's been popping up on other beaches like Caron, I think Qatar as well. Nyan. It just keeps on coming in. It just keeps coming in. And yesterday I actually got a, um, some, um, a well, a phone call from a friend who works here at the National Park and she sent me pictures of what was coming up on Nyang Beach and the tar balls were just incredible big pieces of tar balls. You know? So, okay, we can see them on the camera, but can you describe what they are, what they feel like, what, they, what the texture is? They feel lovely, actually. They feel like um, plasticine, you know, like, like gooey plasticine. Yeah. So it looks solid when you pick it up, but when you touch it, it's actually pretty soft. So what we've been doing is rolling it in a little bit of sand just to coat the outside and then putting it in the bag. Okay, so it gives you a way of handling it. Yeah. So now, which beaches have reported this? Uh, obviously, my cow here at Nyang. Uh, Katakaron, uh, is it the whole west coast? I think so. I think at first it was only the northern and the southern most parts. For example, Bangtao and Surin had nothing. But I heard from some friends that yesterday it's been washing up on Bangtao too. And so, Tai Mueang, sorry, Tai Mueang and Natai were pretty bad, but especially Tai Mueang, they were pretty much like this. Just the west coast beaches or some of the other the, uh, east coast beaches, any of the islands around Phuket? I haven't heard about the islands. I think okay. it's just the west coast for now. All right. But all the way up to the mainland. The big question is, where do we think it's come from? We are all thinking that it's coming from the Sri Lankan disaster. We don't have proof and the Phuket Marine Biological Centre have been collecting specimens along every beach and they're checking right now. They have to get what they call a tar ball footprint in order to understand where it comes from, or fingerprint at least. So they can well, just check the DNA of the, uh, the, the, the oil to find out where it came from? Yes. Okay, so um, we'll try and find some more information. We'll leave that as a link underneath this video about that incident. But we don't know. But obviously, it's a pretty major oil slick to be able to keep washing up these tar balls day after day for the past week. I agree. And yesterday, Dr. Conkiat, the director of the Phuket Marine Biological Center, he was here with his drone and he flew it out uh, quite far to the sea. Uh, and he saw there's this huge mass, a few huge masses of oil coming in. So I think for the next week or so, we will see it washing up, unfortunately. Yeah. We just have to be ready, ready to collect it. So what do we know about the government's efforts to clean this up? Or is it being left to the NGOs and the foreigners again? No, I think this time it's seen uh, very urgent, especially since we plan to open the country on yes. the first. I mean, we can't have foreigners yeah. coming to a beach like this. Sure. So everybody's reacting very quickly. Yesterday, the National Park head was here. He's, he was here today as well. He actually organized the cleanup and the Department of Marine and Coastal Resources have been here as well. So everybody is making an effort to just clean it as, far, as fast as possible. And today was um, really impressive. You know, they separated the groups into three groups, one for the uh, tar balls, another one, another group just collecting the rest of the plastics and rubbish, and another group sweeping up. So it's been organized pretty well. So if you step on a tar ball and uh, it gets on your feet, can you just wipe it off or do you have to go home and get solvent and... I've been using used cooking oil. Okay, to just to sort of... Yes, oil takes up oil. I mean, isn't yeah, that amazing? Okay. I've heard that coconut oil works really well and it smells a lot better than used cooking oil. But I use that for myself and even for my dogs. 
took some time, but it comes off. What about the effect on the marine environment and dogs? Uh, something to be avoided? Well, for dogs, my dogs, when they went to the beach last Sunday, besides their feet getting really dirty, they started vomiting multiple times afterwards because they dig holes, catch the crabs, and eat the oil at the same time. Sure. So it's really bad for any kind of um, marine life. Uh, for example, fish have been washing up. I'm not sure where exactly. Yeah, We've just got a helicopter uh, going overhead. Um, obviously uh, checking out the state of the beach. Yes. So tell us about uh, Sustainable My Cow. What do you do? Well, it's a group to bring everybody together to keep the beach clean, um, have a recycling sorting learning center. That's our, our aim. That's what we've, we're planning to do in the future. Hopefully have a permanent beach cleaning team because the beach needs to be cleaned every day. Once a week is not enough, you know, and it has to be a constant thing. So... Why um, has it become the role of foreigners to keep Phuket's beaches clean? This has been something I've seen for 10 years, that the orbitors don't have any organised daily or weekly or even monthly beach cleaning. There seems to be volunteers and groups like yourself that are doing all the cleaning of Phuket's beaches. I'm also a little bit puzzled why. Um, last year I presented a project to the Orbotor National Park, um, local authorities and hotels. It was a project to clean the beach 12 kilometres of beach. And I had different options, 12 kilometres, 7, 4, depending on the budget. But nobody had a budget. Everyone loved the project, but no one has a budget. I think the problem is everybody thinks it's everyone else's responsibility. So, I mean, I noticed that when I interview people, one would say um, it's the hotels who should do it. The next one would say, no, it's the Obotor. The other one, no, it's the national park. So I think it's turning around like this. And that's why with Sustainable My Car, my message is it's all of our responsibility. We all live here. We all get benefit from this place. We all have to do something. And it's urgent. It's not an option anymore. But the government, uh, the Phuket provincial government, are obviously reaping the benefit of a million tourists, well in the past, arriving here every month and getting an enormous amount of revenue and taxes out of them. They should be making at least some budget, putting some budget aside to clean the beaches. I mean, you can buy a beach groomer, like a tractor with a machine that drags behind it, that would clean up a beach like Nyang or any of the main beaches in half an hour and just do that every couple of days, like they do anywhere in the world. We proposed that in my car actually to have an ATV with a yeah. carriage at the back, but the National Park and a lot of people felt it would be a threat to the Jakajan, you know, these sand crabs, right. as well as the turtle eggs. So we're looking at which option is going to work. So for okay. now, we're doing it manually. All right. Uh, okay, so you would like to invite people to come down to uh, help your beach clean. How can they get in contact with you? So you could check out our page, Sustainable My Cow, My Cow in two words. Link underneath here. Yes, thank you. And um, just get in touch with me, you know. We will be cleaning the beach in Nayang tomorrow and Wednesday. And on Wednesday, we're focusing on My Cow as well. So I'll be up in My Cow with the hotels, just getting uh, whatever tar balls are left and uh, especially rubbish, as much rubbish as possible. So I suppose the bottom line is if you do see these tar balls, if you're walking along the coast of uh, Phuket principally, then uh, don't be surprised. It's uh, a known situation and organizations like Sustainable My Cow and great people like Michelle are working very hard to try and clean it up because of course we want it to be clean from July the 1st. Ah. Of course, this time of the year, you've got the onshore winds. It's going to be blowing all sorts of yes. debris uh, ashore anyway. I think the only way is just to, you know, for everyone to get involved and clean and make it a normal thing. It shouldn't just be because Thailand is opening, you know, it should yeah. be yes. an ongoing thing. But of course, we have this urgency now that we need to all work together. We have, what, 10 days. So let's get to it. So there's going to be plenty to do by anybody who's got any time and I'm sure the government will pitch in as well to keep these beaches as clean as we can. We don't really know what's caused it. We suspect it's the Sri Lankan oil spill. That will come out probably later this week when they've done some tests. In the meantime, the cleanup will continue tomorrow and on Wednesday as Michelle said. And we've got details under this video about how you can become involved if you've got the time and 
if you're already on Phuket. But for us at the Tiger, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.